Here are five steps on how to invest your first thousand dollars. Now, when getting started, it's not about building your wealth. It's about building confidence. So let's walk through these five steps they are actually really easy, but it'll get you up to speed really quick. All right, let's dive in. Step one, we do recommend you join Ticker. The reason is Ticker is a screener and educational platform all in one. So what does that mean? What we do is we analyze stocks from around the world to understand are these strong businesses we should consider buying or are these weak businesses we should avoid. At the same time, with the educational component, we really step you through the process on when to buy, when to sell, how to reduce risk, really how much should you invest every month, what should you do when the market goes down, and a whole bunch of other things. But we really walk you through that process to overall increase your confidence. So number one is start with Ticker. So number two, after you join Ticker, and it only takes a few minutes to get up to speed with the platform, look for between three and five stocks, specifically on sale stocks. These are stocks that are green, they're really strong in ticker. And to go a step further, we have what's called a 4M checklist. When you click on a stock on that same page, there's a 4M. What you wanna do is use that, it'll kind of walk you through to help you go a step further with investing. Now, just to take a step back, there's a lot of analysts out there on Wall Street. There's also gurus on YouTube. What they do is they start and stop with the math part of investing. We have to understand that investing is more than just math. So that's why we use the four M's. Here they are in summary. So Ticker does a lot of the heavy lifting for you in this regard. We automatically take care of that first M, which is the margin of safety. The margin of safety really encompasses everything math related. But then we look past the numbers and we look at the business. So we also look at that meaning, moat, and management. The meaning is the business model, the various revenue streams. We like businesses with various revenue streams because that creates a stronger business model. There's a lot of new businesses out there that can be kind of like the shiny object, but they only have like one or two revenue streams, and that's a bit of a risk. If one of those streams is cut off, that business can go under. All right, then we move on to the moat. The moat is how the business compares to the competition, and that 4M checklist walks you through that step. We really like businesses that stack up nicely. They actually are better than the competitors out there. That gives us more confidence to invest. And then we look at the management. This is a big mistake a lot of investors make is they don't care about who the CEO is. We like CEOs that have a lot of great experience building businesses and increasing share prices. When, when a business goes through tough times, which it usually can face, um, especially when the market is down, what do you do? Well, a seasoned CEO knows how to stay calm, stay cool, and navigate that company out of those tough times. We like those types of CEOs that have that confidence, have that humility to really stay focused, admit when they make mistakes, and when things go well, I like this. I like to see CEOs pass the credit on to others. This tells us that, hey, we've got a good leader on our hands. So overall, we like businesses that really check those four boxes and ticker, of course, walks you through that. After you've selected between three and five stocks and ticker, your next step is to set up a broker. A broker is essentially where you connect your bank account and then you can add money to your broker and start buying and selling stocks. The question is, what broker should you use? You can go ahead and check out the show notes below. We have a link to the most common or most popular brokers our customers at Ticker use, or you can just go to ticker.com, type in the little search bar there and type in brokers and it'll bring you to the same page. So here's a quick preview of that page. Some of the brokers include Fidelity, First Trade, Interactive Brokers. If you're in a country you're not sure what broker to use, Interactive Brokers is it's a pretty safe bet. They have the largest global footprint. They're in about 200 countries and territories. And um, they're a solid company that's been around a while. They're headquartered in the US. Um, I also have Tastyworks in here, TD Ameritrade, that's the broker I use, and there's a few more. So go ahead and check out that page. What I also wanna do is give you a quick preview of what to look for when you're joining a broker. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out TD Ameritrade. If you go here, you're looking for a button that says something like open new account. I'll click that. 
Then you're going to get to a page that has a bunch of options, which I understand can be quite intimidating. What do you go with? Usually the best option is individual. That's the most popular option. If you have questions about what the other options mean, you can go ahead and get in touch with our customer service, or you could also talk to a financial advisor or wealth manager. Let's go ahead and jump over to E-Trade. E-Trade, similar button, open an account. Brokerage, click continue. And there you go, individual accounts. You can proceed from there. And now let's jump over to Interactive Brokers, open account, start application. And in this case, they actually require you to create an account first, and then they'll probably soon after ask you what type of account individual is going to be one of those options. Okay, after step three, you move on to step four. This is moving money from your bank to your broker. Now, just to set expectations, most brokers, when you get set up, which takes a few minutes to do, moving money can take between one and three days. So that's step four. And step five, you're on the final stretch. Now it's time to buy those three to five stocks you selected earlier. And thereafter, you want to get in the habit of buying stocks every month because that's how you truly build your wealth. So there you go. There are five steps on how to invest your first thousand dollars. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like it, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about investing, we invite you to go ahead and join ticker.com. All right. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.